welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to create this look for you guys. So it is currently the Pisces time of the year. I am a Pisces. I was born March 11th, so I was extra excited to do this zodiac sign. And I also want to wish all of my fellow Pisces babies and March babies and even birthday twins out there, March 11th babies, a very, very happy birthday. Early birthday, late birthday, you know, all that. This is my third look in the Zodiac horoscope series that I've been doing. I will link the other videos down below so you guys can go check them out. And while you're at it, you might as well subscribe. Subscribing is absolutely free, just letting you know. So if you guys are interested in learning how to get this look, then just keep on watching. All right, so I already primed my eyes, so we are gonna jump right into the eyeshadow. First, I'm taking these two vibrant blue shadows from my Urban Decay Electric Palette. They are called Gonzo and Chaos, and I'm going to blend them into the crease, and I'm slightly flicking it outwards to create the top of the fishtail. I wanted the crease to be a little bit more blue-green, so I added in the shadow fringe from the same palette into the crease. Then taking this single shadow called Beach Cottage by City Color Cosmetics, which I actually got in a Ipsy bag, I believe. I'm just applying this all over the lid and with a clean fluffy brush, I'm just going to blend everything to make sure there are no harsh lines. Next, taking this beautiful NYX Prismatic eyeshadow in Mermaid, I'm going to apply this into my inner corner. And then on top of that, I'm using this Buxom shadow in Room Service, and I'm also dragging this into the inner third of the bottom lash line. Then for the rest of the bottom lash line, I'm using the same colors I used in the crease, Gonzo, Chaos, and Fringe. I'm also using those same colors to create the fishtail with a small angled brush. Now I'm taking this Cover FX Shimmer Veil in Amethyst that I actually got from this month's BoxyCharm and applying it on the inner two-thirds of the lid for some shine. For my brow bone highlight, I'm using this Estate Afterglow Highlight. I wanted my brows to match the rest of the look, so I lightened them by applying some of this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and brushing it through my brow hairs. Then I filled in my brows with the NYX Mermaid shadow and then I used Chaos and Gonzo from the Electric Palette and I kind of created a slight ombre effect. Next, taking my NYX Vinyl Black Liquid Liner, I created a wing, but as you can see here, the wing is actually outlining the bottom of the top of the fishtail. I didn't want the liner to be black, but I didn't have a blue liner, so I had to improvise. So I went over the liner with this navy shadow from my Lorac Pro 2 palette. I then mixed together this silver and gold NYX Crystal Liquid Liner and applied it directly above the winged liner, tracing it all the way to the fishtail. For my waterline, I applied this blue CoverGirl Liquid Line Blast Liner. I of course wanted more glitter, so I applied this light blue glitter using the NYX Glitter Glue. And I didn't go heavy handed on the glitter because I wanted my lids to look like reflecting water. Here I'm just curling my lashes and applying this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I also popped on these Wet n Wild lashes for more volume. Now I'm going to prime my face with this Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer. Then for foundation, I'm mixing my Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation in Warm Beige with this Becca Liquid Shimmering Skin Perfector in Prosecco Pop. And of course, for concealer, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape in Light Medium Honey. To set down my concealer, I'm using this Ofra Cosmetics Banana Powder. 
And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to apply this Physicians Formula Argan Wear Bronzer in Light Bronzer. To contour my face, I'm using this Highlight and Contour Palette by IBY Beauty. For blush, I'm using this gorgeous Milani Rose Blush in Blossom Time Rose. For highlight, I'm going to use a combination. So first, I'm going in with this BH Cosmetics eyeshadow called Uranus from the Galaxy Chic palette. Then I'm using that same Estate highlighter in Afterglow. And finally, on top, I'm placing the NYX eyeshadow in Mermaid. To line my lips, I'm using this Essence lip liner called Satin Mauve. Then for the lipstick, I'm using this L'Oreal lipstick in Frida's Nude. And then right in the center of the lips, I'm first applying some of that Estate Afterglow highlight. And then right on top, I'm going in with that NYX Mermaid eyeshadow. And then I'm just applying this Maybelline Clear Gloss on top for a watery effect. Finally, I'm setting my face with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray and the Spray Set Go Setting Spray from Project Beauty. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already, give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!